I'm Amishi Jha, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Psychology at the University of Miami. What is mindfulness? So mindfulness is kind of a big term, and one helpful metaphor to think about it is that it's sort of like an MP3 player. Our mind is really good at mental time travel. We can put the button on fast forward and think about the future and all the things we want to do coming up. We can also put the button on reverse or rewind and think back on po past experiences, sometimes even ruminate on those experiences. But those two functions, fast forward and rewind, are really not what we're talking about when we're talking about mindfulness. By mindfulness, we're talking about keeping that button right on play uh, so that we are completely aware and in the present moment and our attention is fully dedicated to the present moment of our experience. Describe your research on mindfulness training and building resilience. One big area of research in my laboratory is to understand if we can use mindfulness training to help people build their own resilience. And when I use the term resilience, I'm talking about this capacity to bounce back from a period of intensive stressors uh, so that you're back to full functioning or to even get through the period of high stress uh, while maintaining normal functioning. This is a hard thing to do. So what we've been doing is trying to see if we can have uh, work with populations that are going to be undergoing an, a period of extreme stress for a long period of time. So this can be military service members or military spouses for whom the deployment cycle really captures that quite well. We're also working with populations like undergraduates who have exam stress at the end of each semester. Or workplace contexts like CPA firms where they've got the entire uh, intensive period of tax season to deal with. So there's many different circumstances, both from the military and civilian context, in which high stress can be a problem. And what we do is we look to see how offering mindfulness training to these groups might protect against the degradation of this important feature of our ability to pay attention and executive control, which is the, uh, this capacity to make sure that our current behavior is in line with our goals. Because we already know that those capacities, attention and executive control, are really vulnerable to high stress, uh, we hope that what we'll see when we offer people mindfulness training is that those capacities can be protected or preserved from degradation. And so far, the news has been quite good. In, in active duty military cohorts, in military spouses, uh, in workplace contexts, and with students, we've found that offering mindfulness training and ensuring that people are actually practicing mindfulness exercises um, is, seems to be a productive way to help build their own resilience to the long period of stress that they must endure.